hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am in a robe but i am i'm dressed but just relaxing and i was looking at trend mood like i do every single day and i figured today i might as well do what should i call this it's not really will i buy it but like a do i care because <laughs> there is things that i'm interested in and then there's just things that i don't give a shit about so i'm just gonna go through and i'll think of the title later but i'm drinking an adult beverage i am of age by quite a bit i just wanted to go through and talk through with you guys see if anything is interesting i'm gonna also try and figure out how to insert pictures so the most recent post is by hermes it looks like they're coming out with a complexion bomb for 77 dollars of the plain air collection that could not sound less pigmented <laughs> includes plain air complexion balm $77 in different shades I only see 12 the hydrating blend provides a natural glow for up to eight hours up to eight hours up to so eight hours is the max who is this for <laughs> who who's wearing their makeup for less than eight hours you're not even going to make it through a work day. Okay, I guess it's good for if you're going to dinner. And maybe you'll make it to the last course. I don't know. Apply onto the forehead, temples, cheekbones, and chin. Then gently blend all over the face with the fingertips for a second skin effect. Fingertips for $77? You can add more layers for more coverage to correct redness or blemishes for all skin types. Skin types. It's in a plastic bottle that looks like CoverGirl or something like that. And it doesn't last eight hours for $77 in 12 shades. Mm, fuck no. I... <laughs> Who wants this? I guess it comes with powders too. It looks like CoverGirl. Looks like there's SPF 30 in it. For $77, you get a squeeze tube with a light wash of color that you blend in with your fingers. No. Next, collaboration for your lips, Supreme and Chapstick. So Chapstick and the brand Supreme have collabed for three classic Chapstick cherry flavors. It's a three pack of cherry Chapstick. It's not even a new flavor. What's the collab on this? What is, if this is more expensive, it's not even a new flavor. It's the same classic cherry in a three pack. They sell these at the dollar store, except now it's gonna say Supreme. Make it make sense. Absolutely the fuck not. Okay, what's next? The new Candy Haze Collection by Makeup Revolution includes the world's first ceramide primer and lip care. Looks like it is a eyeshadow palette. It's an eyeshadow palette for $12. Ceramide primer for $12. Packed with ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which smooth the skin's texture and blur lines for the perfect makeup base. With rosehip oil, grapeseed, camellia oil, and wild pansy extract to help color correct and even out skin tone. Sweet Dreams Fixing Spray for $10 and a Jelly Highlighter $8, Ceramide Lip Balm $7. I actually have not tried anything from Makeup Revolution except for the concealer, which is pretty good, but I do not hear good things about this brand. It just, I don't ever see anything that interests me and this is included in that. It's a no. No, but at least it's not some weird collab. The lip balms kind of look like those, um, those... What are those cream savers? Like the life savers, but the cream savers, the orange ones, or like the strawberry ones. Those were so good. Do they still make those? It looks like Gwen Stefani is coming out with a new makeup brand. I know that people get a, like celebrities get a lot of shit for 
coming out with makeup brands but I actually think this kind of makes sense because she always has worn like bright lipstick and eyeliner and stuff like that so it's not that weird to me I'm kind of interested to see what it is she's always had interesting styles so I would hope it wouldn't be like another house laboratories calamity where it's just fucking ugly and boring sorry lady gaga but it's like it's coming soon in march she filed a trademark for eyeshadow blush concealer foundation face powder bronzer brow products eyeliner of course mascara lipstick lip gloss lip balm primers blotting paper makeup remover products nail products and more so she's just doing it all i like what's about me i like her so so mac is doing a collab with cacao and friends i'm not sure what that is it looks like some type of anime cartoon thing i don't know uh this time a small collection of the same product in different shades so they must have collabed previously includes glow play lip balm in shades rouge awakening bouncing bloom rose to the occasion floral coral and that tickles now i don't know the last time i got anything from mac if i'm gonna be honest with you they've just been so boring like i feel like they're good for staple products this looks like a lip product that i would be interested in i just i don't care to get it from mac so no thank you Oh, you guys, I, listen, I'm not a Disney adult. I'm not. I like Disney. I love Disney. I grew up on Disney, but like, I don't freak out. But bitch, when I tell you, when I saw this Winnie the Pooh and Spectrum Beauty collab, I want it so badly, but I cannot justify it. <laughs> I can't justify it. Because really, what I really only want is the makeup bag. <laughs> And I don't use makeup bags, but it's just so cute. It's a little Winnie the Pooh. It's like, and you know what? Okay, I'm lying. The makeup bag and the little piglet ear sponges. Those are so fucking adorable. They're little sponge set and they look like piglet's little ears. Should I just get the sponge? The makeup bag is $45. The sponge set is $15. So that'd be $60 and I don't go anywhere. And then I would be so mad when I inevitably get makeup all over the back. But I just, maybe, it's a maybe for me. I'm not going to say no. When I was younger, I had a Winnie the Pooh room. I had like the Winnie the Pooh borders. And I'm Eeyore as an adult. So it just makes sense to me. This is a hard maybe for me. <laughs> I'm talking shit. I might get this whole fucking collection. It's so cute. Okay, let me stop because I want it. No, 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 no. I want that. ColourPop is coming out with a pop art collection. Cream gel liner and color stick duo, $18. Lippy sticks and lippy pencil duo, $18. Pressed powder blushes. And then you can get the full collection. So it looks like it's... Just gel liners, lippy sticks, and blushes. This is so lackluster to me. <laughs> like, this is so boring. What about this is pop art? Pop art is like cool. Even the packaging is fucking boring. This is not pop art. Pop art is like when you see those cool makeup looks when they're like, and they have like, <laughs> and I'll put a picture up here, but this is not pop art. Am, am I missing something? And then they added two more makeup palettes for the NBA collection, which I don't care about. I've seen that at least 10 times from them at this point. Whoever did this should be ashamed. This is like the most lackluster pop art they could have done. I no. Okay, whatever. So it looks like Jeffree Star is coming out with a skincare line. There are seven products in the first drop that offer a full skincare routine. These two are included. Morning Dew Hydrating Eye Cream and a Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer. So, what? Hold on. <laughs> the, the Hydrating Eye Cream is $24 and the Moisturizer is $28. It's only $4 more for a whole thing of moisturizer versus an eye cream. <laughs> Yes, it was just the next step for makeup to pets to skincare. Um, I mean the packaging is cute. It looks pretty standard for Jeffree Star. I'm not interested in this. The packaging is nice. He always does a good job on his packaging. It's a no. 
all the comments saying no. I'm just saying no. During Black History Month. No, thank you. Next, it looks like Fenty Beauty is coming to Ulta. I mean, I know Sephora is shit in their pants. They are crying sliding down the wall at this point because all of the good brands are coming to Ulta. I just need, who else needs to go? Is Charlotte at Ulta? If Charlotte Tilbury is at Ulta, I don't think I'll need to go to Sephora. I don't have a problem with Sephora. It's just less convenient than Ulta. <laughs> like I have to go to a mall to go to a Sephora. Kohl's never has anything. Like they don't have the full setup. So I usually have to go to a mall to go to Sephora, whereas Ulta's are literally everywhere and they have everything I need. People who have shopping problems get more points at Ulta. Hindash is coming out with a new Monochromance palette. I did not get the Butopsy palette and i was okay with missing out on it. it it was it's a cool concept i like it especially for like if you're a makeup artist this makes a lot of sense i love the concept i just wasn't a huge fan of the colors so i prefer this color story a lot more there's pinks purples like a mauvey there's like blues i like this i like this a lot more so it looks like it's coming soon on their website. I believe this palette, the original one, was $70. So I'm assuming it'll be the same price. Made to mix or wear alone as full monochromatic looks. Inspired by his love of monochromatic color stories and art and exploring themes of total euphoria and heartbreak. It's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to get it right away. I want to see like the reviews on it, but I already know it's going to be good because it's in dash, but... I really do like it. It's so pretty. I want it. The only thing is when you're mixing them, I don't know how you you would be able to stay consistent from each look. Like, you know what I mean? Nabla is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. It's called the Read My Mind palette. If you could read my mind, you would say, what the fuck is this? I hate this packaging. It's like making me nauseous. I don't know. I've never tried anything from Nabla. This will not be the first thing. <laughs> Featuring six innovative shades laid out to be read in multiple ways by lines, quads, by mixing and matching the shades as you feel it. So you can do by the row, by the um, quads, or just whatever you feel like. I just, I really don't like the layout of this palette. I feel like it could have been done a lot better. I get it. They wanted to use the lines with like the color stories, but I just think it's ugly. <laughs> I don't like it. That's a no for me but it is available on the 23rd. So Juvia's Place is coming out with a West African mask collection. So it's called the Culture Collection. I really like this concept about using the West African masks that represent unity, love, excitement, fruitfulness, boldness, authority, and lastly, growth and healing. So I really like that concept. I think it's really nice. I think it's probably a nice homage to following up their apology. They, I'm not gonna, go into detail with it but the owner did say something that was unacceptable to a creator when they were in the facilities so i'm hoping this is a step in the right direction for them to grow and heal and learn from their mistake and hopefully they don't make it in the future i'm going to pass on this for the time being it says there's 30 shades which includes duochromatic shades and cosmetic glitter eyeshadow is that press glitter are we still doing press glitter? Can we leave that in 2021, please? It doesn't look like it in the swatches, but that sounds like a press glitter to me. Those don't look like duochromes to me. Maybe they are and it's just a bad picture, but they just look like shimmer. So this is enough for me, but I really like this concept. Next, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Longwear Foundation. I already picked this up. I just filmed a review on it and just went up today, actually. So please go ahead and check that out if you'd be so kind. That, <laughs> it was a little rough, okay? It was a little rocky. I kept forgetting to like follow up and say what the time frames were and everything. So I'm still learning, you guys. Please be patient with me. <laughs> but I did try it. I've worn it once since then. So I'm still gathering my, thought, my thoughts. I will be doing a follow-up video on this in the future. But you'll be able to see my full thoughts so far in that video. Tatcha is coming out with the Silk Sunscreen Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++++ with Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide. 
So this is a sheer lightweight SPF 50 mineral sunscreen with smoothing silk extracts to protect skin from the sun, hydrate, and visibly even skin tone. This SPF supports the skin barrier and delivers a silky texture and finish for light as air sun scare. Sun scare. This SPF supports the skin barrier and delivers a silky texture and finish for light as air sun care that feels like self-care. In Japan, silk workers were known to have beautiful hands thanks to the protective qualities of the silky liquid in which their hands were often immersed. So this is $60, which seems quite on brand for Tatcha, <laughs> Loma Tatcha. Uh, has zinc oxide 10% and red algae extracts, help protect skin from UVA, UVB rays, and cocoon skin from blue light and pollution. You should always wear sunscreen when you leave the house, even when you're not leaving the house. Blue, um, when you're on the computer, fun fact, that is also bad for your skin. The blue rays from the computer, the blue light, it's actually bad for your skin as well. I did learn that from my friend who was an esthetician. <laughs> she takes it very seriously. I could do better on wearing it every day. I forget. I try though. I have the Super Goop SPF that I typically, that's what I'll wear when I put my makeup on. That's nice. I don't think I'll go out of my way to purchase this. It's $60 and I have the Super Goop already. <laughs> Tatcha, I love ya. So that's a no from me. Ooh. So Physician's Formula is coming out the Bread and Butter collection. I mean, why? Looks like there's a Let's Toast highlighter, strawberry jam blush, bread and butter bronzer, and watermelon sugar lip scrub or lip gloss. I don't like this. <laughs> to be fair, the only physician's formula item that I have is the butter bronzer. And I, is that what it's called? I like that. It smells very nice. I like that. But this, it seems very kiddish to me. I don't know. I don't like it. I guess I don't understand why everybody has to do food products. Can you just not, can you just not do that? I'm reading the comments and they're like, where's the rest of the shades? Good question. Thank you for asking, Aaliyah's World. I don't know how this brand has been getting away with pretending dark skinned people don't exist for so long. Same question. Same question. I'm wondering the same thing. Who the fuck is this working for? She beat me to it. I didn't even click to see if there was more pictures. There's not. There's one blush, which is a light pink. There is a light bronzer a one shade highlighter this is fucking embarrassing now i don't feel bad saying that it's fucking stupid and i hate it this is dumb yeah there was extra pictures so i didn't go through the rest of them but that's really it <laughs> don't even think that bronzer would work on me and i'm light medium to put it in perspective for you that shit looks like it is for lightest of light and then the highlighters in the shade champagne yeah, who all is this working for? Try the fuck again. Thank you very much. All right, Tower 28 is coming out with new lip glosses. I actually really enjoy Tower 28's lip gloss, and they're quite affordable for Sephora. Um, they're $15, and I really like them. Looks like they came out with four new shades, or five, I'm sorry. I thought they already had oat. Am I mistaken in this? Or is it just two of them now? They have oat, coconut, pistachio, cashew, and almond. That cashew one looks really nice. So does pistachio. They all look nice. <laughs> yeah, I have two lip glosses from Tower 28. They're really nice. Lawless is coming out with a new lip plumping line. So this is a... What? Why are these names so long? The Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Sex Pot. A plummy rose sold in a set with overnight lip plumping mask for $36. I haven't tried any of these lawless lip plumping whatever the fucks. I wanted the light pink one, but this color is cute. But Sex Pot? Why do all these brands? They all talk like they have not gotten in a minute. Okay. <laughs> And Merit, uh -huh. signature lip, lightweight lips, 
Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick by Merit for $26. A sheer lipstick with a satin finish and benefits of a lip balm. I haven't tried... I haven't tried anything from Merit previously. I'm good on all of these. I don't need any more lip gloss or lipsticks at this point. I'm... I'm tapped out for a minute, if I'm being honest. I don't leave my house. Let's just put it at that. I don't go anywhere, so I don't need any more. But they look nice. Kapari is coming out with the Leche Collection. This looks like it comes with a vitamin C face mask for $32. A vitamin C foaming face cleanser for $20. Is that it? <laughs> that said collection. I thought there was more than two. So it comes with a face mask and a face cleanser. The scent is a blend of natural aromatic extracts with tropical, fruity, and creamy notes. I have not tried Kapari, but I'm not going to lie to you. That face mask looks nice. I bet you this smells really nice. I would be not be against it. I have been finding that my skin has been extra sensitive lately. I don't know. I have dry skin, and this looks like it'd be hydrating. So I might check this out if I'm in Ulta at some point and I see it. I might pick it up. It looks nice. I'd be interested in trying it. They're showing that Winnie the Pooh collection again. Click away, Nicole. It's okay. Be strong. Makeup by Mario is coming out, or already came out, with the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. A satin matte lip cream that comfortably cushions lips while blurring and smoothing. These are $24 each. Looks like there's three shades. There is Nude Suede, which is a light beige nude. Pinky Brown, which is a pinky brown. And Mocha Latte, which is a cool mid-tone brown. I like these shades for start. I would have probably picked up the Mocha Latte. This kind of... um. Reminds me of the Kaleidos Lip Clay lip products, which I haven't used, but this sounds exactly like them. So I'd be interested in picking these up. Again, I'm not really buying any lip products at the moment. I don't know how these would feel like. I really hate those NYX mousse things. I fucking hate those. Those things can go to hell. I don't like them at all. They just hate them. Eight. These are anything like those, and there's a there are no, but if they're like the Kaleidos ones, which I've heard are really nice, then I would be interested in picking these up, or I would just get them from Kaleidos. <laughs> I kind of personally like the Kaleidos uh, color selection better, anyways. So, all right, let's talk about it. The disrespect that Makeup Revolution did on this Lion King collection, the packaging, let's just start there. It's leopard print. For the Lion King, it's leopard print. I am a true child of the 90s, born in 93, okay? I had a Lion King tent, bed set. I know the Lion King and I know this is a piss poor representation and they should be embarrassed. There's a lion, a warthog, and a fucking meerkat. Why is this all leopard print? And then the color stories. I don't understand this. I hate this whole collection. I'm not even going to look into it further. I hate it all. I don't like one thing about this. So I'm not even going to give it my attention any further. I just needed you to know I'm disgusted and disappointed. Next. So I believe one of the makeup artists on the set of Euphoria coming out with their own makeup brand called Half Magic Beauty, Donna Davey, who brought us a lot of magical sparkle from Euphoria and inspired us to create a lot of makeup looks. Now we're going to have it in our vanities. So fun fact, I don't watch Euphoria. I know, I know. I tried. I, I'm not going to say why I don't like it, but I don't like it. It wasn't for me. It's cool. But I know that everybody likes the makeup on it, which understandably so. It's beautiful. So I think this is really cool and I'd be interested to see what they're coming out with. I'm assuming it's going to be Euphoria-esque as that's what everybody is probably expecting. But looks like this will be available around May. So that is exciting. Good for Donna. Viseart is coming out with the Petite Mattes Collection. So this is all the palettes that are already existing within the Viseart line. They're just smaller, therefore more affordable. So the normal palettes are larger and quite expensive. I believe they're like $100 or something like that. So these are all going to be $40, which I think is much more reasonable. And you honestly don't need huge pants unless you're a makeup artist. So this will be more for the everyday average customer. I think the one that I like the most is the one that's purple. 
which one is the one with the greens and like the murky one I like those two so those two I probably would be interested in I probably am not going to go out of my way I actually don't own any Viseart eyeshadows I believe I had one and I gave it away I don't think <laughs> that was a long time ago but I think I gave it to my friend but I like it I like the concept I think it makes a lot of sense Tasha Denona came out with a new Nita Rose lip collection, which comes with lipsticks, lip crayons, and lip glosses. And Daphne, Kaya, Kaya, and Peony. They all look like pinky nudes to me, which I think she has shades like this in the collection. This is pretty standard for Natasha Denona. If anything, I would be interested in the pinky brown one. I believe that would be Kaya. That one looks the prettiest to me. I don't personally like pinks on me. I think she has really nice formula. I just don't like these colors. Glamlight came out with a Valentine's Day collection, which I believe came out after Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken, of like mini Hershey's Kisses. Again, though, they're all monochromatic palettes, which is what they normally do. So this isn't anything different. In fact, that blue one looks like the Icy palette they just released. The purple looks just like the wine palette that they just had and then those two neutrally shades or those two neutrally palettes look like the chocolate martini palette and then the pinky red one looks like the red velvet cupcake one like no it seems kind of lazy to me i'm not into this i want to see something else i want to see something different from glamly because i really like their formula but i just don't want to keep buying the same thing over and over again that doesn't make sense to me like the palettes that i have make sense for my collection but i wouldn't just be rebuying stuff just to have them like these all have already been done but they're 18 dollars each if you are looking for them so i guess it's nicer uh, if you just wanted to try the formula if you've never tried glam light before this would be a nice like bite size version to try all right so those are all the ones that i'm going to be talking about today I've been talking for 45 minutes and it feels like <laughs> I'm not that thrilled about most of these releases there's a couple of them that I kind of have my eye on that I'm interested in hearing more about or I'm waiting on them to be released I still really I really want that Winnie the Pooh one and I keep looking at it and I'm like I want it I do want it so cute it's just nostalgia like 90s kids and 80s babies are all so easy to fucking capture with nostalgic shit like this and I know it I know it's my weak spot it's so pretty I really want it so don't be surprised if I pop up one day with some Winnie the Pooh brushes you've been warned and on that note thank you so much for watching let me know if you're planning on getting any of these anything that you like dislike hate leave it in the comments below I am not judging you if you like some of the things that I dislike. Don't judge me if I like some things that you don't like. <laughs> this is a fun place. We're just here to have some fun and look at new releases. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will be having many more to come. I'll probably be doing this once a week or something like that whenever there's a decent amount of releases to discuss. And on that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!